Decker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a review on the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. Okay, so I'm super pumped that they came out with kind of a palette to go with the, the fall season. Most of the palettes that come out that have like a little theme are basically Christmas. Tons and tons of Christmas, but we don't really see something this cute for fall. So thank you Too Faced for foot putting together, footing together, f f putting together the Pumpkin Spice palette. So here's some of my Okay, thoughts. so when I first started doing this palette, I decided that I was going to get into the quadrants and check out this mirror, Rabbit Trail. So this palette is kind of pretty sleek, uh, nice square bit. It has 16 shadows in it. It says it's infused with the Pumpkin Spice scent. Not, I don't even know if it smells like it. The scent is so light, I wouldn't really say that's a selling point. Um, it combines warm, spicy, toasty shades and fun pops of color for buttery smooth lit. <sighs> I can't speak today. Buttery smooth lit. And I'm reading. It's here, but it can't get out here. Buttery smoothness in a palette you'll want to live in every day. So I do agree with part of that. The palette colors are gorgeous. You can live in it every day. Buttery smoothness, I think might be an oversell. So I'm gonna give you some positives and um, some challenges with this palette. So I did day one, this quadrant here. So I'm gonna insert a picture right here. I believe it was day two. I used this quadrant here which I'll insert a picture right here. Then I went in with this one here. I think I have a picture. If I do, it's coming now. And finally, this picture for this quadrant really didn't um, show up. So I wanted to do kind of the four different looks in the quadrants because I don't know, I feel like if they have a quadrant, I need to put those together. And then today's look is using just kind of all over the, um, the, the palette. And I'm going to do a tutorial on this look. It's going to be really quick. I'm just going to kind of point and, you know, show you where I put the colors. I will say, I thought this color would be a lot darker than what it was. So even though the colors look a little darker, some of them still have to be built up, which could be good if you um, enjoy taking time to build up color. I wanted to, in some instances, for it to just really pop immediately, and it didn't. So that was kind of a wah, wah, wah for me. So those darker colors don't really go on like they look in the palette, a lot, lot lighter. You're going to spend a lot of time building them up if you want them to look as dark as they are. So just be prepared. These colors are not true to pan. The other thing, um, when I read the back, it said silky smoothness. Is that what it was? Buttery smoothness. I have to disagree with that. So I've tried using some of them with, you know, my fingers and, you know, with brushes, etc. I would not say that this palette is buttery. I've used palettes that are buttery. This isn't it. So I think, you know, Too Faced overall, over the past couple of years, when I'm looking at some of their holiday palettes, they just seem to be maybe not as up to par with what you expect of Too Faced. So realize these colors may not pop as much as, say, some of the standard products they keep on hand. I don't know if they manufacture these at a different spot but you definitely can tell a difference between their holiday palettes versus their palettes that they sell day in and day out, their standard palettes. But even though, again, the challenges that I mentioned on these palettes, I still really like the palette. Um, today's eye look is fun. I think if you like the pinks and the mauves, um, I think this palette really is for you if you like pinks and mauves. There are bits of, of kind of browns and one orange and I think the browns really still lend towards that um, kind of mauve, not mauve, um, 
maybe mauve. I can't think of the color. In this case, it's spice coffee. So it feels like the spice coffee or the sweater weather really are the base color of the whole palette with the exception of this prettiest pumpkin. So overall, I really like this palette. It is great for fall. The colors are, are absolutely beautiful. So if you want to see a quick tutorial on how I did this eye using this palette, stay tuned. And we'll see what you guys think. Um, if you have gotten this palette, please leave your comments below. I'm kind of curious what you think about this palette. But again, Too Faced, thank you for doing like a November, October, November palette. Like, that's the bomb. That's the bomb. All right, y'all. Here we go. Today for watching the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice and in the video I did forget to say hi missus sorry so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette uh, I hope you like the review 